Well, Kenobi gets a release date, Chrysanthemum joins Chewbacca, and a classic comes to Nintendo Switch. Give us five minutes, and we'll give you the galaxy. I felt a great disturbance in the Force. Many of the truths we cling to depend greatly on our own point of view. Well, another week, another flood of news, rumors, clickbait, and conversation. This is Pete Fletcher, and welcome to Disturbances in the Force. All the Star Wars news you need in less time than it takes to run home and get your rancor. So let's get to it. Well, just hours after the final credits rolled on season one of The Book of Boba Fett, StarWars.com dropped some long-awaited news on the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. With a social media post, they shared not only a new poster showing the titular character walking the windswept wastelands of Tatooine, but officially announced a premiere date of May 25th, 2022. This date also happens to be the 45th anniversary of the release of 1977's A New Hope and the fourth birthday of Solo, A Star Wars Story. Not to mention the fact that Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim will open the following day. In other Obi-Wan Kenobi series news, Bespin Bulletin is reporting that actor Robert Friend will be playing a character first introduced in the animated Rebel show as part of the new live action series. He is reportedly playing the Grand Inquisitor. In Rebels, Inquisitors were introduced as agents of Darth Vader sent to hunt down any remaining Jedi after Order 66. Friend will not be alone. According to rumors, actors Moses Ingram and Sung Kang have also been attached as Inquisitors, some of which were seen in the Rebel series. No official announcement about Friend's casting has been made yet. And continuing in the Kenobi theme, in a recent interview with Forbes, Ewan McGregor, who is returning to play Obi-Wan Kenobi in the series, told the publication that he is really enjoying working with Deborah Chow on the live action show. He said, quote, I loved playing Obi-Wan Kenobi again. It's quite interesting after the experience of making the first three films and living through their reception in the world, which wasn't always glowing. He went on to acknowledge that, quote, people who were the kids who were made the films for, to them, they are their Star Wars films. So to step back into the shoes and do a whole series about Obi-Wan Kenobi for those fans makes me really happy. Interestingly, while mentioning that he, uh, a piece of news that many already know, that Hayden Christensen is returning to play Darth Vader, McGregor said, quote, we got to play scenes together again as Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. I'm not going to give away anything else about the storyline, only that I think it's really going to satisfy Star Wars fans. The Han Solo comic series, which was announced a few weeks ago, has a release date of March 9th and will take place after the events of Solo, A Star Wars Story and before the fans met Han in the cantina during A New Hope. Mark Guggenheim, the series writer, told Comic Book Review that Han's love interest Kira, played by Amelia Clark in the film, makes an appearance in issue number three and that is directly related to the concurrent comic book run Crimson Rain. He also shared that there will be an issue told completely from Chewbacca's point of view and, quote, features a newly minted Disney Plus star, Kersantan. Comic book fans will be keeping very busy this spring also because of the news of a new Obi-Wan Kenobi five-issue series slated to drop in May. This short run is set to take place just weeks before the events of Episode 4, A New Hope. Christopher Cantwell, the writer of the series, recently told StarWars.com, quote, Here's Obi-Wan waiting and sensing that things are about to drastically change. There's going to be some culmination of his destiny. He's searching for strength and wisdom to reinforce his readiness to face his fate. The Kenobi comic book series is expected to drop on May 4th, a.k.a. Star Wars Day. In a recent interview with the publication in Sweden, actor Stellan Skarsgård, who is playing a yet-to-be-revealed character in the upcoming Disney Plus live-action Star Wars series Andor, let it slip that a second season is already planned for the show. Through a translation of the article, he said, quote, We start Dune Part 2 in July, and then in the autumn, it's time for the second season of the Star Wars series Andor. I do not know when they will start broadcasting it. Skarsgård plays Vladimir Harkonnen in the latest film adaptation of Dune, and there is no release date yet for the Andor series, but it's expected sometime later this year. During the Nintendo Direct live stream earlier this week, it was revealed that Aspire is porting the classic Star Wars video game The Force Unleashed to the Nintendo Switch. This title, a fan favorite, introduced the character called Starkiller as Vader's apprentice in a non-canon storyline. It also was the entry point for actor Sam Witwer into the Star Wars world. Since playing Starkiller in the game, Witwer has gone on to become the voice of Maul, playing him in the Clone Wars and Rebels animated series, as well as voice dubbing Ray Park in his return in Solo, A Star Wars Story. The Force Unleashed will be available on Switch on April 20th, 2022. 
And this literally just in, another actor seems to have been added to the Ahsoka series. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Ray Stevenson will join the cast of the upcoming live action Star Wars show in an undisclosed role. The actor was most recently seen in Vikings on the History Channel playing the role of Othir. Stevenson does have a Star Wars connection. He performed the voice of Mandalorian Gar Saxon in two episodes of The Clone Wars in 2020. That character, however, was killed by the mother of Sabine Wren long before the events of Ahsoka's show in the expected timeline that that will be in, and that was in the episode of Rebels, which took place before A New Hope. There's still no release date for the Ahsoka series at this time. Well, that wraps it up for this week's Disturbances in the Force. Make sure to check out the ATG podcast stream for weekly one-on-one interviews with the people behind the fandom. This Thursday, Podcast of the Wills is joined by Alex Damon from Star Wars Explained. Please subscribe for regular updates. Follow us on all your social media channels at ATGCast and visit our website at ATGCast.com to keep up with us, find our merch, and get information about supporting the show as an ATGCast patron. Thank you so much for listening, and may the Force be with you.